What do you do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We are back with some more Dan Vosk. This time we're checking out Phantom of the Opera. Um, and I think in the in the thing it said that it was in the style of Nightwish, which I the band Nightwish with Floor, I'm not sure. Um, is a cover featuring Dragsia, I believe it's I don't think I've heard her before, but you guys can correct me. Now look, guys. There's a movie, right, called Phantom of the Opera. I have not seen it. Excuse the barking in the background. I have not seen the movie. I am not familiar with this song. My wife tells me I need to watch this because it's good, but I don't know. But maybe this can change my mind. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. If anybody can change my mind, it's Dan. This is this 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 must be in the style of the band Nightwish, right? Because this sounds like symphonic metal. And I do have some reactions to Nightwish, by the way, for those of you who are interested. Um Dragacia, Dragacia, I hope I'm Drag Drag Dragica. Dragica, whatever. Her. I absolutely love the tone of her voice. Now, I don't know if this song, I don't know it Phantom Opera, I believe it's what is it, like a play or whatnot, but I'm not too sure because that was some opera tones that she was singing in. And I don't even know if she, I just want to look it up here. Um, okay. Well, it's an opera, one of the most beautiful and spectacular productions in history. I can't see play, right? Okay. So it was a play. Okay. So this is designed to be sung on stage. I was, I, the reason why I was because the way that she's singing, right? Those type of tones that she's hitting. Um, I know that when you're writing for a play, you want to write for like, like, you know, stuff that can like, like really, really push out. Uh, Cause I know sometimes opera singers don't necessarily use microphones. It's all about that vocal projection and voice control. And I heard it all. And when she was singing, it was so smooth. I didn't hear a single crack. It was just smooth, like butter. It's just, you know, you just want to, you just want to sway with it a little bit, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. And now here comes Dan. Gonna bless us with some tenor. again with me our strength to win my power over you grow stronger yet and though you turn from me to glance behind the phantom of the opera is dead The, the sustain notes coming through very very powerful nah, you know you don't hear any type of let up that's what we expect from the man dan right right he has the vosk posture in everything that he sings even when it's sustained It'd be quarter notes whole notes 18th notes 16 notes it don't matter he always puts the power in his vocals and of course the gestures we've seen that already you guys seen it and i've stated in my for the reactions in, in my past reaction is that all of these gestures that Dan does are necessary, right? This is part of his singing style. You guys think that he's doing it for, you know, like, like, like stage or doing it for show and everything. But I kid you not, even when he's singing, probably in practice, he's probably doing the motions. You know, I, he, when he practiced singing, he's eating breakfast. That must be quite a spectacle. Can you imagine just kind of eating omelets? Just, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, this is fantastic. Beautiful voice. Beautiful. Got 
Bad Whispers too. The intensity in her eyes. I need to watch this movie. Or play. decided to turn it up to 11 here i should have known bro every time every time it catches me by surprise like we know i should have known the way that dan was singing he was singing with all the gusto of his diaphragm and everything as as you should when it comes to opera and you know, music of the the play nature and everything i should have known that he was gonna hit us with that honestly the given the tone of the song i thought they were gonna kind of keep it in that mid-range not mid-range but you know um, uh, her hitting the high notes and falsettos. And I thought they was going to kind of maintain kind of like that range throughout the entire song. Right. But of course, I don't even, I don't even think that high note that there's no way that high note with that much grit is in the original. Right. Cause then this would be the phantom, the, the, the rock phantom of the opera. Right. If Dan was on the stage, <laughs> that would have added some nice flavor. If somebody just busted out, started singing like that. Every time, man, every time he catches me off guard, look at the intensity in this man's face. Look at that intensity right there, man. You can't fake that, baby. Ain't no way. Her turn. Is she gonna go up again? Cause ain't no way. Okay. Thank you so much for watching our video. Yeah, guys, we, 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 that was fantastic. We, 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 we might have to, we might have to watch this somehow, some way. They got a movie. Is the movie like, should I watch this y'all? Do, 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 oh, hold on, hold on. I don't want no copyright from that. Should, should, is this worth the watch? I mean, if Dan Bosk has covered it, I trust Dan. Right. He covers music from he, he always covers good music and he makes good music. So if he made a cover on it, it must be worth the watch. Thank you, Dan. If I end up liking this movie, thank you. You did that, man. You and the pot and, and, and the Vosk power. You did this. And also to the fans. Thank you as well. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.